about the confidence um, getting this win, and obviously you guys have struggled at home. Yeah, but we struggled at home, but uh, there hasn't been a lot of games that we didn't play well. We played well enough to win a lot of those games, uh, you know, and um, it's been won this way. Uh, uh, but uh, hopefully you take this first and third period in the overtime uh, and can really uh, look at the good things that we did there because I think we uh, we played really well in the first and third. The second was a little bit uh, sloppier, but uh, they, uh, you know, that was their second game in, in two nights, and we had to take advantage of uh, maybe tired legs on the other side, and we did that uh, in overtime. How did you find that you were starting today? Um, you know, just came in uh, the building, ran into Hank, and he mentioned he wasn't feeling that great. So, uh, you know, about 25 minutes later, uh, uh, Torch walked in and let me know I was starting. But I said by that time I was uh, kind of already in game mode. I knew that uh, I had to be prepared for anything. If it wasn't for start, it, you know, you don't know if in the first or in the second, uh, you know, you start not feeling good on the ice. Uh, you, you never know when you got to go. So, uh, uh, but, you know, we... It's uh, it's it's part of the job. You gotta be ready for things like that. It's two, it's two pretty good ones now in a row after a bad one. You feel pretty good about your game and where you are. Well, I mean, that last one was a win. It was a one nothing loss. But it's, it's you know the game is is where we wanted. I mentioned before the Atlanta game. It, I've ha I didn't have the best practices I wanted and. Um, you know, while before the Toronto and, and before the St. Louis game and, and tonight, I, the practices have been really good. And um, I think that that's the, the thing. When you don't play on a regular basis, you, your games become the practices. And every time you get on the ice, it has to be 100% committed, 100% focused. Um, you know, it was kind of funny this morning. I had my six-year-old with me at the, at the practice. He skated for a half hour before and about 20 minutes afterwards. And he warmed me up pretty good. So <laughs> maybe i got to give him some credit for that. That, but you know, it, it, it's uh, it, it was fun to uh, to be loose and, and to go in a game feeling that way. You started in this league and you've backed up. Do you change your how you prepare at all? Not really. Um, when you play, you're the guy. Um, you know, and, and even when you don't play, I I, I try to go in the same routine and you know get my uh, you know my nutrition, get my rest. You never know, especially uh, in a, in a backup role. Um, when you go in a game, if it's sometimes first, second, period, whatever, third, you you have to be ready to make the saves because they're counting on you to maybe turn the game around or to make that save that's going to give a team a chance to go back. So your preparation's got to stay the same. Does it help for us to be teammates with some of the guys across the hall? Um, I don't know if it helps or not, but uh, to, to, to be playing against Buffalo um, is something that's always exciting for me. You know, uh, I, I get up really... Uh, uh, you know, easier probably because it's that team. It's just a feeling of, of playing against uh, old teammates and organization and friends and friends and family watching it back home. Uh, um, you know, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Is it also the fact that you used to play there and that they kind of uh, they let you? No, know? I don't know. It's you know, they. Uh, I know some of the guys' tendencies, but in the game it happens so fast. I know you know Vanek likes to send from the net and Gus. I like to send in from the net and. You know, but uh, there's there's a lot of new players too. But in a game, it happens so fast. You just got to trust your preparation as opposed to uh, want to focus on what the other team is doing. One couple the, big uh, saves two. there in the, in the second period. The one authentic, I think it was, that they hit the post, and the one you kind of twirled around. On that yeah, the one uh, Yoke and uh, he got. I I thought for sure. See, that's one of the things where you think tendencies might go in your favor. It kind of goes against you. He came on his back end, and I thought for sure he was trying to pick the short side post, and I overplayed it. Before I know he's going to the other side, and uh, it hits my pad, and then I didn't know where it went. I saw the replay that it hit my uh, my knob and stayed out. Um, you know, it's, it's maybe uh, not the best play for me to go and recover to the other side of the post. But um, you know, at the same time, you, you got to get something to bounce. I think first goal they scored. I, I you know, there was a delayed penalty. Danny Girardi has got the puck underneath me. I thought there should have been a whistle for that. A whistle for me covering it. We didn't get it. We got a goal disallowed because they said they were going to blow the whistle. I think that it might have been a quicker whistle than we had all night. So I think the bounce is kind of go to a place. When, what are you thinking when the two-on-one turns into sort of a little two-on-other? Well, when it's the two-on-one, I'm you know, and I see Van Eck as a right-hand shot. I'm thinking I got to play him as a shooter because uh, uh, to get the pass across, it's it's a lot harder mm -hmm. uh, being a right-hand shot. And he, he's pretty quick at uh, at getting the puck on that. So. Uh, and then when he starts dragging it across, then I, I'm already committed to him. I just try to stick with it, uh, make him, you know, try to beat me. And if he passes it to Roy, well, I had to try to scramble and 
you know, you never know what can happen. The pass can bounce like it did a little bit. He mishandled it. He's probably in the goal line and the play's over. Is there, there ever an instant where you're, you're kind of waiting to hear what happened? You know, because the puck's behind, you know, the play's kind of behind you. Are you waiting to hear, you know, if it's a goal and the game's over? Or <coughs> like on the panic on and Roy? Yeah, when he makes Well, no, because I kind of saw the oh, pass and I was trying to get the pad, the pad, uh, the paddle down to try to block it and he yeah. lost it. He actually tried to shoot it off me from behind the net right. to, re to direct it in the net. Um, so I tried to seal the post as quick as I can on, on the side and the puck stayed behind, which, uh, um, you know, that was a bounce we needed in overtime to get that one. It's obviously a, a big win for the team to, you know, turn things around here at home. But how big is it for you personally to, to get your first win on home ice? Oh, yeah, that's, that's big. I mean, uh, um, you know, I felt like last game against St. Louis, it was a really good uh, game for me, but still, you know, you need to win games. You need to be uh, uh, pulling your weight around and, um, you know, and, and tonight being able to say, okay, well, you know, we, we came in here and in our building and was able to, you know, stop the bleeding. And, you know, the first two now, we got one more, try to uh, even it out for the, the homestand. That was probably our most important game of, uh, uh, of the homestand so far. Was there a plan in place if you happened to get hurt during the course of this game? Was well, Hank was halfway dressed and ready in the, in the back somewhere here, but uh, we were actually. It's funny. I got already hit me right in the sternum, like in warm up, and it kind of <laughs> choked me a little bit. And I came in and I was actually was talking to Hank. And I'm like, "Hey, uh, you almost had to go in there because I almost went down." He started laughing, but uh, uh, you know, we were going to try to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> That's good.